researcher at the University of Free State, Olushola Ogunobi, now joins us on the news to discuss this developing story. Many thanks for joining us on TVC News at 10. This resurgence of attacks is really disturbing. Describe to us the situation in your part of South Africa and categorically, who would you say are victims of this attack? Um, thank you for having me. Um, I hope you can hear me well. Uh, I, I, well, I live in Cape Town, um, and I can perhaps say I've not, um, I've not particularly seen much that that happened in terms of xenophobic violence or any type of disturbances in where I stay or around Cape Town, going to work and coming back. Uh, but generally, I would say that most of the attacks has been around the Gauteng province which is um, um, perhaps what you refer to, what you, the area called um, Jeffreys Bay and, and um, a couple of other places around Johannesburg, essentially. And um, of course, Nigerians, Pakistanis, and a couple of other foreign nationals have been targeted. And it's, it's, I think it's basically the, 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 the sporadic incidents that occur from time to time in South Africa that um, people have almost become used to now that happens often and often from time to time and gets to be reported or under reported in the media. So it's, it's um, the scale and what, this, uh, what, I, what I should also probably say is that the scale and some of the pictures that we see, we not necessarily have events that happen recently. Some of them have been events that happen past the public occurrences okay. that have uh, okay. been circulated in the media. Right, I'm putting it in better perspective. I earlier asked who the victims are. Are they foreign nationals who are living legally and who run uh, legal businesses in South Africa or those who are alleged to be criminals? Well, it's difficult to tell. Um, I do not have the, the answers to that question particularly, but I do know that the victims of um, most of these attacks have been foreign nationals. Although I've seen on the news where a couple of um, locals have alleged that their shops were also looted and um, and destroyed, so it, I think it's, a, it's been a mix of both um, hugely foreign nationals and in some parts um, locals that have been caught in the in the crossfire in the in the process of this looting. Uh, sometimes you know some of these foreign locals are seen to look or appear as though they were foreign nationals and then become um, targets to the, some of these attacks. But essentially, it's been foreign nationals that have been attacked by uh, most of this xenophobic violence that we've seen. And I think the government needs to also come out straight to identify or to recognize that this is indeed xenophobic violence and not just criminality that has been um, um, peddled around in, in both in the media and, uh, and government circles. All right, then researcher at the University of Free State, Olusha Laogunobi, joined us from Cape Town in South Africa.